Hello, and I'm back. I have a ton of laundry <laughs> to fold, so I figured I would fold laundry and talk um, because I have a couple things that I want to kind of, or uh, one of the things I wanted to cover is why did I take a three plus, a three month or a hundred day um, break from all social media. So um, I figure I could do that while I do fold laundry. Um, you'll see me kind of sorting my kids' laundry. I do not fold my children's laundry. They are old enough to fold their own laundry and put it away. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. So you'll see me kind of doing that kind of stuff, but I can still talk to you. So oh, taking it back, earlier in 2021, pretty much at the start of the year, I noticed that mentally I was hitting a really tough time. Um, I was just emotionally having some struggles and there was just a lot. Was, I think everybody, everybody's attitudes, everybody's emotions were extremely high after 2020. 2020 was a rough year for everybody. I mean, it, some people had it rougher than others, but in general, I think everybody really struggled in 2020. Started 2021 after a very emotional roller coaster of a year in 2020. Um, I realized that just my overall mindset capacity for, and emotional capacity was just really not in a good spot. Um, so what I did is I was, I, you know, social media is something that I've always kind of enjoyed just so I could stay in touch with people that I haven't talked to in forever, family, um, friends. It, it, and especially in 2020, it was great because you missed out on, on talking or just seeing all these people. Um, but I really was having a hard time coping with just a lot of the hate speech that I was hearing from in general from everybody on all sides I didn't care what you I don't care I'm not gonna this my channel is not meant for politics or whether or, or my opinions on the virus and any of that I'm not even gonna go I decided you know what I'm going to do a 90 day fast from social media and I deleted the apps well I, de I deleted them but for some reason on the iPhone they don't they don't, they're not really deleted. They kind of get like tucked away in this other place in your phone. So they're not completely gone, but they were no longer on my main screen. And I'm telling y'all, it is the best thing that I'd ever done. It really was. I mean, I, once I start and I started my prep. So at that point I was starting prep because I wanted to go ahead and be ready early. Um, because I noticed last or last year, one of the things that was really great about my prep was e even though it was, it was crazy because it was like, okay, this show's getting canceled, this show's getting moved and blah, 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 blah. It gave me more time and I found that more time has, is obviously way more beneficial for my physique. So I started my prep and I mean, my focus was like this. I, I, and I have a saying that I'm going on, that I'm doing right now, uh, that I say it's blinders on, execute, finish. And that's really the thing is I have my blinders on and I'm executing the plan that my coach is giving me and I'm going to finish it. I'm going, and, and, and honestly, there's really no end, actual end point, but I, once I started my prep and I was off social media, I wasn't looking at anybody else to compare myself to. I wasn't looking at anybody else's um, progress pictures or um, how many weeks out are they? Are they further along than I am? Oh my gosh, I'm 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 eight weeks out. Why do they look like that at eight weeks out? And I look like I look that way. I didn't even do that. I was literally just staying in my lane and my focus has been incredible. Um, and I did that. I actually, I was like, okay, 90 days. Let's see what I can do for 90 days. And honestly, the first month flew by. And that was when I used most of the time I was journaling, I was writing in my journal. Um, and at one point, because of, I was trying to cope with emotions and the journaling was so therapeutic for me. It was a really great way for me to 
just channel all those frustrations and just write down whatever, whatever was going on in my mind, like no matter how stupid or crazy or funny or whatever it seemed, it they were my thoughts. They were it was for me. It was for nobody else. And taking that time off was just it was great. Um, there were some of my friends who were like, "Where have you been? I miss you." And I'm like, "Look, I'm I'm taking a break from social media. If you need to get in touch with me, you can call me. You can text me." You can, if the people that, met, that, that know me and, and are close to me, they have my number. But being off social media was just an absolute blessing. Um, so I went past 90 days. I actually did 100 days of not being on social media. And I, like I said, it was fantastic. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of easing back in because I do enjoy it. There, there are certain aspects of it. There's still some things I'm just like, oh. I, I think the other aspect of it is I am very focused right now with what I'm trying to accomplish. And what I'm trying to accomplish is, as I mentioned in my previous video, to win an overall and to win my pro card. Those are just two of my main goals that I have right now that I focus. And I, like I said, I will do another video about my goals. That is but something that I want to continue focusing on um, are those goals. Um, but my exposure to social media, I'm, what I'm doing now is just little by little. Um, I'm not posting a ton, um, which is funny because I posted, the most I posted on social media thus far this year um, was literally after I did Murph um, yesterday, so Saturday, so today's Sunday. Um, and I did Murph, the Murph workout yesterday and I posted actually my first like physique or body image of me after a workout and I got a lot of responses like whoa like wait what <laughs> nobody's seen my actual physique in like forever um but you know what like I don't care like I'm not here for I think what was great about that break is that I didn't need to look at other people and, and try to compare myself and see where I'm at um it literally is just forcing me to appreciate the physique that I've built, that I'm building, and, and what I, the package that I am going to bring to the stage, nobody else. Um, and I'm not saying that that's going to help me to win or to be the ultimate winner, but I already feel like I have accomplished so much just by doing that. So my social media, I'm starting to gradually get back into it, um, just kind of dabble here and there and I give myself a limitation like I am not on it very long I, I literally kind of I that's something I, I'm going to start to need to do a little bit better on is give myself a time limit per day of what I do in social media but that was the reason why I took that time off of social media it was it was for mainly my personal it was just mainly for personal um, and just seeing what I could do and seeing how it would help me. And it really did help me a lot. Um, and even lately, I got, I mean, I used to post a ton. I used to post a lot on social media and whether it's an Instagram story or, um, just a, a little post or something like that. And honestly, I haven't been doing that as much. Is that making me lose followers and think, well, first of all, it's not like I had a ton of followers to begin with. Like I had... I don't know, like I have maybe like 1200 um, on Instagram and I have a lot of friends on Facebook, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't think, you know, it's just, it's some people, if anything, they're just, they're probably I'm kind of out of sight, out of mind. Um, but it really has been great. Taking that break from the social media is, is huge. And what I would recommend is if you are like me and are trying to take a fitness journey, whether it's competition prep or standard or just lifestyle, weight loss, whatever, um, social media is a great tool to encourage other people and to be encouraged, okay? So I'm not going to discount that at all. However, it can also be a negative place. It can be a place where you feel like you're inadequate and mediocre. My recommendation would be is, you know, if you can if you can keep keep social media and channel it as something 
that is positive and that helps you, then great, use it. But if you're finding yourself either comparing yourself to somebody else's journey or you find yourself just in, a, in maybe a, ne a negative mind space, mind space, don't don't hesitate to take a break from it. And you don't owe anybody an explanation. I owe nobody an explanation. I technically don't even owe you an explanation uh, or anybody on my YouTube channel, but I just wanted to share that it was some, It was a method that I took that I, I, I took just as more just kind of to, just to kind of take a mental woosah and it ended up being an epiphany where I realized that my lack of being on social media actually helps me to be more efficient and to perform to the best of my ability. And um, just understand that. Like I have friends that I am text that I, even when I was all social media, they knew it and I was texting with them and, and all those types of things. And you don't have to have social media to get encouragement or to be encouraged. You can absolutely just have those connections with people. It's perfectly okay to have connections with people. And sometimes I think that we've gone afraid, we've, we've gone away from that. Um, and social media kind of covers that up and, and hides us from that. Um, instead of us actually interacting with someone we become a keyboard warrior. So anyway, take that however you will. Um, I still have a crap ton of laundry to fold. I will not bore you with any more of my ramblings, but I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helps somebody. And I guess I will just see you next time. Love. Bye, y'all.